So let's pick up where we left off in the last video with this C5H14 molecule. So how does this molecule work? Well, to draw more than one central atom, first thing we have to do is figure out what are the backbone atoms. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify each functional group in the molecule. So we have one, two, three, four, five functional groups, which means we should have five atoms that constitute central atoms. So we're going to draw them out in a line. So we got that carbon, that carbon, that carbon, that carbon, that carbon. In fact, make it a little bit easier for you, I'll draw it all in red. This is going to make up our backbone of the molecule. So all five of these carbons are connected with at least a single bond. Now around each functional group we have the list of the atoms that are around it. So we have three hydrogens around this one, two around this one, two around this one, two around this one, and three around this one. Sorry, of course I have it. Now, how do I know this? Well, I look at it. I have a CH3 group, so there are three hydrogens around it. I have a CH2 group, so there's two hydrogens around it. CH2, two, CH2, two, and CH3s. So, this is the spatial arrangement as a first guess. Now, we still need to draw the Lewis structures to actually get things like tetrahedral, trigonal planar, things like that. But, as a first pass, it tells us this is how the molecule is arranged. So how do we actually connect them? Well, you've still got your method one and method two. Now, I would advocate using the one where you start, start by putting the valence electrons around each atom. The reason being is that it's going to make it more obvious how things are connected. In the next video, we're going to talk about some ways of cheating and, you know, kind of short-circuiting a lot of the stuff that is just doing get one. So we have each hydrogen with one electron and each carbon starting with four. So we're going to start by drawing, doing connect the dots. Now again, we know that each bridging carbon, each atom in this backbone, has to be connected to the one beside it. So this carbon is connected to the two around it, this carbon is connected to the two around it, this carbon is connected to the two around it. We also have to form at least one bond to each periphery atom. So we pair up, pair up, pair up. This would be our structure. Now, are we done? Well, yes. If we look at method one, we're out of valence electrons to pair up. Now, you can do this by the other method, which is the accounting. So if you count the number of electrons, you're going to find that the number of electrons here add up to the total number of electrons you started with. The reason I don't advocate you doing the add-up method is that this is a very simple example. If you end up with an example where you have double bonds and triple bonds, it becomes less apparent how you start putting those extra electrons into them. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how this is kind of actually done in practice and some rules of thumb and general trends you use to kind of guess what the chemical formula is.